Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have something new on the table. I love it. We have something new. What is it? It's Hidden Barn. Hidden Barn. How and hidden a, is it? A real old fashioned uncorking. <laughs> yeah. First time opening it and everything. Pause for cork pop. All right, so it's 106 proof. Mm -hmm. And let's see, the master blender is Jackie's Eye Can, formerly of Old Forester. A master distiller is Royce Neely from Neely Family Distillery, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And then in partnership with um, Nate and Matt, and they are from the... 5280 uh, Whiskey Society, which is out of Colorado. That's right, I could mm -hmm. never remember the numbers. I'm yeah. like, help, help. 280. <laughs> it's, a, it's not a Van Halen album. Uh, it's <laughs> this looks actually pretty dark. Yeah, 106 I mean, proof, yeah. Yeah. I guess while we're uh, sort of letting it open up in the glass just a little bit, we can tell you where the name comes from. I do, yeah. li I like this part. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I, I do like the label. It's different without looking like it's different to be different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but a hidden barn, so basically back when distilling it was illegal, back in Prohibition, uh, a good way to spot illegal activity is to see that um, microflora that forms on, in this case, a barn. You know, you've seen it when you're going to Kentucky or anywhere, right, that has a distillery. You see that black stuff on the side of the warehouses. If they're not, if the warehouses aren't painted black. Right, yeah. the warehouses aren't painted black. Or you see it on the trees mm -hmm. and everything. Well, that's this Michael, micro, it's not Michael. Michael Flora? <laughs> My, it's this guy named Michael Flora and he just. It's all his fault. It's all his fault. It uh, It's attracted to the alcohol that's in the air and it hmm. causes this From the angel share. Stuff from the angel share or from distilling. Interesting. So, you know, back then, if you saw a barn with some black stuff on it, like, ooh, let's go check out that one. They're so doing some stuff in there. They're doing there. some stuff. So the story goes that in solidarity, we weren't around back then, but Kentuckians would all paint their barns black out of solidarity so they could like still moonshine sense. and the, those people could still get their moonshine because of that, like mm. helping them out. Like, I don't want them to get pinched. That's where I'm getting my, my whiskey from. Mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for a good story. Now this is non-age stated, um, but according to the press release, it's four to five years old. Yeah. Well, that's, that's pretty grain forward. It is grain forward. Yeah. Has not, more of a crafty nose. Mm hmm. I was going to say, not exactly in like a young way, but grains are just really kind of shining through. And um, it's very corn forward, too. Yeah. It almost smells like corn pops. Mashable wise, we're looking at 70% corn, 20% rye, and 10% malted barley. I'm sticking with corn pops. Corn pops, huh? Uh huh. You're like a dark adult version of corn pops. Yeah. yeah. With a little bit of maple in there, too. It's also, I'm getting some barrel, getting a little char, you know, a little char characteristics in there. Are you like some black tea? All right. To your health. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I like the texture. It does have a good texture. Yeah. A nice little pop of oily up front and spice that's rising. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first sip, it is still very, I'm getting more like corn forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the but palette. I like the proof. The palette matches the nose. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a pretty decently long finish too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. It's still kind of hanging around in the mouth, coming down into the chest feels here. <laughs> hanging around in the mouth where you drank it. Right, right. I was expecting yeah. it to be in my ear, but it just stuck in the mouth, so that's interesting. <laughs> a little like tangy honey, sort of, like spiked honey. Yeah, or... it definitely has some honey notes. The honey and the corn and... What's that brightness? A little bit of a zesty spice, a little lemon. Um, so lemon? I was kind of thinking lemon I think or peach. lemon, yeah. And then on the finish, you know, the oak is coming through a little bit. And that's kind of the flow of flavors the flow, the flow that of I'm things. getting. If I had to make a, yeah. you know, a flow chart mm -hmm. of flavors, that's mm -hmm. how it would be. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to let it sit here for uh, for just a second, see if, see if anything happens there. And while we wait, we want to tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the new bourbon bunker. Uh, be kind, share your finds shirt uh the new kind vintage. of what we call vintage vintage, vintage red logo. or vintage maroon there as well as our glen karen's copitas we have rocks glasses water glasses challenge coins bottle cut candles mm -hmm. we got more always coming soon that's whiskeyambitions.com you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month that is where we release our exclusive barrel picks this week, we released our 1792 Foolproof. Uh, Very exciting stuff. Yep. Uh, also, the opportunity to go on barrel picks, another round with Chad and Sarah, which we'll do after this episode, and more. And discounts to Whiskey Ambitions, actually. Oh, yeah, they're, that's they're right. On, uh, Patreon, Depending so. on your tier. <laughs> we'll be right back. 
All right, so we've been letting this sit for a few minutes. Got a little deeper on the nose. I got a little more spice, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little less of like the corn pops just a hitting me caramel, in the face. I feel like. Yeah, I think it benefits from a little bit of time. I gotta say, I really like the texture. I think the texture is my favorite part of this. Yeah, the mouthfeel? Yeah, rich and not quite, I wouldn't call it chewy, but like it's getting there, you know? Real oily and it just coats your mouth and I look forward, that's the part when I pick up the glass, I'm most looking forward mm. to that aspect of it. I would say my favorite is either the mouthfeel or the finish. It does have a nice finish, that's my second um, favorite part. I, I'm, I'm honestly, you know, for only being four or five years old, I'm, I'm getting some, uh, a little bit of tobacco leaf, mm. you know, more barrical, barrical, barrical. Bar Just making up the words What's today. Going on with you? Don't know. Barrel characteristics than you would think a four to five year whiskey mm -hmm. would have. So I'm liking that about it. It really settles in. It too. does settle in nicely. For 106. A very nice uh, Kentucky hug happening here. Uh, those those would be the pros. Well, I'll say this as another pro that it's gonna lead into a con. I feel like this doesn't taste like any other bourbon that's readily available out there on the shelf, you know? So it's not a Buffalo Trace clone. Well, that's a bad example, because that's 90 proof. It's not like a Heaven Hill clone or anything like that. So it does have some uniqueness. So if you are looking for uniqueness, it's there. Now, mm -hmm. as I said, leading into that con, it's a little too grain forward for my personal taste, mm -hmm. I like those gray notes to kind of be toned down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's why the palette isn't my favorite. <laughs> you know, it's more of the finish when that sort of washes away and you're left with like those barrel characteristics. And as you said, it's a good mouthfeel. What yeah, about you? I, I pros think, and cons. I think I'm feeling the same way. Uh, pros, like I said before, the mouthfeel and the finish. I'm really enjoying those aspects. Like, man, it's still, it just hangs out. And I really like that about it. And I really like the mouthfeel. I agree for my personal preference. Uh, it has a little bit more grain forwardness than I normally like. Is that attributed to the age? I don't know, between four to five years. Huh. I feel like that's the point where it still could be there, but it maybe starts to taper off at around the five year mark. But I don't know, different brands, different experiences. Sure. I feel like though, again, based on the overall experience of this, even though I find this particular one to be a little more grain forward, than I personally like. I really think it has, it shows a lot of potential and like where their vision is and I like that a lot. So maybe it's a signature note for this distillery. I That's just don't have enough experience. Sort of what I was thinking, like that might be something that they want to maintain because it maybe. is sort of different. It seems like more and more distilleries and this will be you know newer or craft distilleries, but are leaning more into that grain forward. A unique uh, profile. Yeah, because they don't want to try to be a clone of, of the big boys. And some people are really digging that. Other people can't w quite get into it. The more I sip it and the more it opens up, I feel like the, the less I notice the grain forward, but it's still there and I can still tell. I'm enjoying it. Like I would mm -hmm. ask for another glass of this. I've only ever tasted something from the Neely Family Distillery once, like four or five years ago at a craft distillers festival. So my memory is not great as to like whether or not this is the profile that they had then and whether they're carrying it through now. But I will say like, if this is a preview of what's to come, I would buy the next bottle. Okay. Like I would want to keep, this is a brand that I would want to keep up with while this might not be the one for me. Mm -hmm. I see what they're doing and I like the direction it's potentially headed in. So I would I would buy another bottle in the future. The thing about this batch one is it is $75 MSRP. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it has some hype surrounding it because of Jackie Zykan who left Old Forester, as you said. Mm -hmm. She's bringing a lot of uh, clout to uh, to this brand. $75 for what's in my glass right now. I'm not feeling it. I agree with you though. Batch two, when it comes out. We're gonna buy it. We're gonna buy it because. Well, one for the show, but. <laughs> yeah, um, especially if it's like a year down the road, you know, mm. where now, and, and I should say, if they're using older stuff in it. If they're gonna stick with this, it might not just be a bottle for me, but I feel like there are great things happening here, but mm -hmm. it's more like when the stuff gets a little older. So I don't know if I can recommend this purely on this on the $75 price tag on this, but I'm very curious and will buy 
future batches mm -hmm. to see where it's going. Sure. I guess for me, um, I'm not as shocked by the price because of the proof. And I mean, I know four to five years isn't that old, but for a craft distillery that is getting older. Right. Um, the fact that, you know, you're paying for Jackie Zycan's involvement in that, which I get. But on the flip side of that is you see a lot of things priced 55 to 65 to $70 that are sourced that are also, which there's nothing wrong with sourced whiskey, but I'm nope. just saying that are sourced that are the yeah. same age statement. Mm -hmm. So for, you know, 10 to $20 more, would I pay for a family run distillery's own stuff that they've been working hard on? Yeah. Yeah, I would. I mean, again, 75 is a lot, but they're small distilleries, so they don't get the, um, what do you call it? The efficiencies that like the big players get. So you giving it a recommend? I would say I will try this brand again in the future, but would I buy another one of this bottle? I would not. It sounds more sideways, maybe? S yeah. Okay. Eh. Okay. Would not buy another one of this bottle, but will continue to keep up with this label. So that was basically my summary. So maybe I'm more, I'm, I'm definitely not would buy another bottle of this one, but I am more sideways on, I'm really looking forward to where the brain goes. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, hey, that's where we'll leave it. If you haven't subscribed us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos right down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, till next time, drink more bourbon.